Hey guys, what's up? My name is Trix, aka Nico, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're here to start a new series that I was planning on doing for almost a year now. Hypixel Skyblock is a game that is super complex. Especially for new players, it might be really hard to understand, and there is no real introduction other than the starting quests that we hopefully can agree on aren't really helpful whatsoever. So today we're going to start the Ultimate Skyblock Guide. This is a series in which I'm going to try to tackle every single game aspect and try to explain it in the best way possible. A year ago I created a website to try out to help new players with information. This website is from now on going to be filled step by step to not only help out new players, but also even veterans will be able to take some of it with them. So now we're going to start up with probably one of the biggest values in the game, quality of life. But before we jump right in, as this is a series, I would not want you to miss out on a new video. So if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Also, if you enjoy my content, then make sure to show it by liking the video. Let's get into the topic of quality of life. Just like the name already says, the gameplay of a game is something that makes up a lot of the player's experience. So changing this experience to the better will also make the gameplay and its feeling better as well. In my Minecraft this change of experience is achieved with resource packs and mods. And let me tell you guys, there is a ton of awesome resources in that area. So let's stop talking about it and just show off a couple of features and what these changes could look like. Menus. New menus to make navigation much easier. Custom textures for an awesome new look and differentiable items. And a bunch of other features like custom GUIs and a ton more that will not only make the game easier to understand, but like I already said, give it a completely new feeling. Let's start out with mods. Since there is a simple alternative to installing a bunch of mods, I kinda have to mention this as well. Clients are basically Minecraft versions with pre-installed mods. This obviously means that you can't change these mods or install new ones on top of them, but since the Lunar client as well as the Badline client include probably the most crucial mod named Skyblock add-ons, here's the easy way out. Both of these clients will be linked on my website just like everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video, so make sure to check it out down below. But if you want to change your experience in your own personal way, I would recommend to just simply install the Forge client and be able to alter what mods you want and don't want to use. For my part, and yes, you can see this as some kind of mod folder release, these are my favorite Skyblock mods. Skyblock add-ons. Starting out with Skyblock add-ons, in my opinion one of the most important and best mods out there. This mod has helpful tools in almost every single game scenario. These features vary from locking items to not accidentally drop them, to slayer loot trackers and a ton more. The fact that you can fully customize your GUI, as well as the fact that it is coded by Hypixel Helper himself, makes this mod even more reliable. If you want to learn more about it, since there's actually too many features to talk about, then make sure to check it out linked down below. Another very good alternative for this would also be the Skyblock Extras mod, as it is a paid mod though, I have not used it myself. I have heard a lot about this mod though, and it isn't actually that expensive, so feel free to make your own personal opinion. Not enough updates. This is by far one of the coolest new mods that I was able to find for myself. It comes with a bunch of epic features such as a player viewer that you can use inside of Minecraft to check out other player stats or even the new auction house that, in my opinion at least, is one of the greatest features. Since even with the new option of the cookie buff to check out your auction house from everywhere in the game, this auction house still changes the experience by a lot and lastly I wanted to mention the items list which helps with crafting recipes and the usage of certain items. Skyblock Cadia. This mod comes with a bunch of features as well and here are my favorites. It comes with a player viewer just like not enough updates, but I also love it for various other reasons. For example, the fact that you can show the item's rarity as a background color of the item itself, or the fact that it helps you render the ender dragon's hitbox. It obviously comes with a lot of other features just like every other mod here, but for that, yet again, check out the link down below. Dungeon Utilities with Chat Triggers this mod will help you on a bunch of situations and it is a must have if you enjoy running dungeons. And lastly, we got the honorable mentions here. These are a bunch of mods and even if they're not really Skyblock related, I would highly recommend the Patcher mod by Skyr and Optifine for not only a better game experience on Skyblock, but actually just Minecraft itself. There are, like I said, a bunch more mods and you can check a lot of them out on my website, but these were my personal favorites. So let's move on to the next part of quality of life resource packs. I will yet again not be able to show all the resource packs that are out there, but I will talk about my favorites and also mention some that I find helpful in some kind of way. The Hypixel Skyblock Pack. This was actually my first resource pack that I ever used and therefore have a pretty sentimental relationship with, but other than the fact that it not only renders your pets in 3D and also has animated items, it's just an all over good choice to go with, especially if you're starting out as a new player on Hypixel Skyblock. And since there isn't really too much difference to other packs, except the fact that items and most likely armor will change 
change on the other packs, I will just simply show them off like this. These are my favorite packs and even though that I myself mostly use the Hypixel Skyblock pack, having other alternatives to switch here and there makes it pretty cool because it gives you a new experience even if you already used it a while back. So my tip is check out which packs fit you the most and just simply switch here and there to keep up this feeling of a new experience and spice up the game. And lastly, even though it's not a full texture pack, it's still very helpful and an important resource pack to me, I wanted to mention the dungeon resource pack, which basically just helps out a small amount by showing off traps and other textures such as the bat in a vibrant color. Other than that, there isn't too much to say anymore. Find your own style and change the game to become something you enjoy. I know that today wasn't really too game related, but rather for your game experience, but I hope you still enjoyed it. And trust me, it's going to be worth the time that you invest into this. I hope I'll see you in the next one, and if you haven't already, then check out this playlist with the other guides on Hypixel Skyblock, but with this said, have an awesome day, and until tomorrow.